My ears have constantly been blessed throughout the life of my YouTube channel. First, it was Ocean Man Voice Crack Edition for 24 hours. Then I listened to every single Kids Bop album and then the longest song in the world. This time I thought I would do something a little bit different. I'm going to be listening to only K-pop for a week straight. Now, if you didn't quite catch that, I will have K-pop bands and singers playing non-stop while I'm sleeping, when I eat, when I go to the bathroom, when I'm out being social and making conversation with people, which I don't typically do, but theoretically speaking. Now, why am I doing this? It's because I get asked quite a bit if I like K-pop music. People will ask me if I like this band, or if I like this band. Well, the truth is the only K-pop artist that I've ever listened to is BTS. So I can't really form an opinion on K-pop as an entire genre if I've only listened to one band. I really enjoyed BTS's music. I think they're very talented and they sure as heck can dance, but it is time for me to dive deeper into this world. It's possible that I could end up really liking K-pop by the end of this week. You're gonna have to stay tuned to find out what the final verdict is. And I'm also gonna give you a review on each of the bands that I listen to. I got this list from you guys. I asked you over on Twitter, which K-pop bands are your favorite and which ones you would recommend for me to listen to. We're starting this on Tuesday and going until next Monday. So we're gonna have a different band for each day. That is a total of seven bands. Because BTS was the most highly recommended one, we are starting off with them today on Tuesday. Tomorrow we're doing Red Velvet. Thursday is Blackpink, Friday is EXO, Saturday is Twice and maybe Luna, so I lied, two bands on that day. Sunday is day six, get it, because it's day six of the challenge. I'm so clever. And then on day seven, the final day of the challenge, we are going out with a banger. 17. One of y'all said that Big Time Rush is your favorite K-pop band, so we may possibly have to sprinkle some Big Time Rush into this week. Normally, I'll listen to some emo music or rap, metal, jazz, you know, we'll sprinkle a little bit of Shawn Mendes in there, and if I'm really wanting to catch a vibe, Kids Bop. Because I'm used to listening to so many different types of music, it's going to be very interesting to see how I hold up with only one thing. Non-stop. Without any further ado, we are going to get this started with some BTS. Heck yeah. I know a few of their songs. I know Fake Love. I actually really, really like that one. So maybe I will do that first. I'm just gonna breathe in all of that fresh BTS air vibes. Wait, did they do a cover of Old Town Road? No. I'm so ready for Rap Monster and Suga to serenade my ear holes and fill up the cracks in my heart. Fake love, BTS. It's a jam. Love. I feel that. I relate. To sing and not think love. I should also mention that we're gonna be doing fun things every day to make this more interactive, like going out in public. Maybe we'll bake a cake or something. Also, I don't know how loud I'm speaking right now because this music is really loud in my ears. But I'm alive. I'm living. So hot already. Why am I doing this during summer? I have been dancing so hard for the past two hours. BTS has some high key box. I think that I have well deserved a delicious bowl of cereal, so let's go make it. Hey dad, yeah. do you like BTS? What's that? Sunshine, do you like BTS? Oh, she does. Do you like my socks? Bruh. So far, my favorite songs from BTS are Fire. I really like how in the music video, they just set everything on fire, like mood, honestly. And Spring Day, that song made me cry. Which granted, it's not hard to make me cry because I cry like 10 times a day, but you know, it was a good cry.
You know what's crazy? I'm actually feeling pretty good right now, which is surprising because I'm typically in a constant state of suffering. So we're doing fantastic today. It's almost midnight. I feel like this challenge is going pretty well because I'm not annoyed by the music yet. However, I do feel that it's gonna be an issue now because I want to go to bed and this isn't exactly sleepy time music. It's more dancey dancey music. So this is gonna be a long week of no sleep. <laughs> I'm so excited. So I'll update y'all in the morning how my night went. Yeah, so I got no sleep last night. Good morning. It is Wednesday, my dudes, which means that we are going to be listening to some Red Velvet. I'm gonna have to say goodbye to BTS for now. It was a great time, but I'm actually very ready to move on to something different. Their most popular song is Zim Zalabim. Zim Zim Zalabim! Start off with that. Okay. They have a song called Bad Boy and Peekaboo. Ooh, they edgy. Another thing that I realized is even if I'm listening to great music, this week is going to be very hard because sometimes I just wanna sit in silence, but I can't do that because I'm supposed to have something constantly playing. And what if I just don't wanna listen to anything? Which is kinda unfortunate because it's only the second day and I already wanna turn off music and sleep. Why do I do this to myself? This is like music that would be playing in the club, which is awesome, but I'm not at a club. I'm tired. I will say though, these girls are very beautiful. Yes, queens, kill it. Now I'm not gonna lie, Red Velvet has some bops. However, my thickness, my true form, when I hear this name, I think of Red Velvet Cake. Maybe this is a stale joke in the fandom and you guys don't wanna hear it, but I have been thinking about Red Velvet Cake all day, so I'm gonna head to Walmart and get some. that there are too many people here, but I have another mission. We're out of Capri Suns at the house, so I need to get them. final result. I know it looks really disgusting, but I promise it tastes good. It's crumbling and falling apart, kind of like my life. Ha ha. After listening to Red Velvet all day, my two favorite songs from them are Look and Bad Boy. <laughs> it's just that name. I'm really content at the moment. The cake is nice. It's Red Velvet. Did I mention that? <laughs> I slept like a baby last night. It was great. I slept in until like noon. Don't even judge me because I know y'all have done that before too. My overall thoughts, Red Velvet has some really cool sounds in their music, super cool band name. It is time to move on to Blackpink. They are, oh dang, they're gorgeous too. What is it with all these K-pop bands? They're all flawless. What the heck? Can you just take a look at that? They're so pretty. Their number one song on Spotify at the moment is Kill This Love, so let's start with that. This is cool. Blackpink has certified bops. This has like Nicki Minaj vibes. I love it. Wait, is Nicki Minaj featured in this? They did a song with Dua Lipa? I'm living for this Dua Lipa Blackpink collab. It's a good song. Now, because I ate so much red velvet cake yesterday, I think I'm gonna go on a run today. <laughs> what are you doing, you silly goose? I need to go on a run 
to just work off all that cake that I ate, okay? And this is good workout music. This is like getting me really pumped up. Let's go. My puppy licked my face, so now it's all wet. And I think she was eating poop earlier, so that's great. I went for my usual 10 second run. It was exhausting. I felt like I was gonna throw up. So I thought, you know what? It's probably about time to hit the hay, if y'all know what I mean. Happy Friday, it's time to listen to EXO. A few fun facts about them. There are nine band members and they debuted in 2012. So they've been around for quite a while. Let's go ahead and take a listen to their tunes. Ooh, I wanna listen to Monster first. I do like this. I'm noticing that each group has their own vibe, which is good because I get to catch all of the vibes then. I also feel like what I'm saying in my review on these groups is getting really repetitive because they all have cool sounds, good melodies, cool music. So how about we do something fun and open this package? that I got from Amazon. So I ordered a phone case because I'm switching from the iPhone 6 to the iPhone XR. And pretty much what I did is I found a super cheap phone case on Amazon and got that one. Do we really care? No, if it was cheap, that's what matters. I'll let y'all be the judge of whether this is actually cute or not. Let me know in the comments if you like this. It has flowers on it. We have a nice floral design. Oh my word, it's actually really cute. I like that design. For a cheap phone case, I'm satisfied. Am I gonna write a review on Amazon? Probably not because that takes too much time and I have to listen to K-pop. Somehow I ended up in the Taco Bell parking lot with a burrito on this Monday morning. I think that says everything you need to know about this situation. I'm awful. I only had one job and that was to vlog over the weekend and I did no vlogging whatsoever. In my defense, I was too busy crying and also all of Saturday and Sunday, I looked like a greasy rat. So I'm just gonna spare y'all's eyes from that even though I don't look much different now. I made an oopsie by not documenting every day of this process, but it's okay because I kept listening to these K-pop artists and I'm gonna give you the final breakdown. On Friday when I was listening to EXO, I found out that my favorite song from them is Mama. And then the next day I listened to Twice, I really like the song Turtle. It has nice acoustic vibes. It's a very chill song. <laughs> Next was Luna. My favorite song from them was Satellite. It's very groovy. I actually don't know if groovy is the right word, but you know, it made me want to do my Squidward dance again. So it was pretty cool. Yesterday, I listened to day six. My fave song from them was Dance Dance. Now I can put together a playlist where I have Dance Dance from Fall Out Boy and Dance Dance from day six. So I'll have like double Dance Dance on my playlist. Sick. At the moment, today, it's Monday, I'm listening to 17 and so far my favorite song from them is Trauma. Absolute hit. The point of this video, you know, there really wasn't a point. I just hope it entertained you guys. And if it did, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. I would appreciate that a lot. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now that this week of K-pop is over, it's time to go listen to Kids Bop for the next year. Please join me. And let me know down in the comments, who's your favorite band of all time? Who's your favorite K-pop group? Who is your favorite kids from the Kids Bop Kids? Just don't get too aggressive in the comments. Let's all be nice, okay? Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I love y'all. Bye.